Do you want to loop through records and Airtable automations? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you two different ways by one is a simple way without using a filter. One is also introducing a filter concept into your looping, which for the most part, people think is not very possible, but I'm going to show you how you can do it in this video. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I make Airtable tutorials like this all day long. I build systems like this for clients all day long. If you want my help building out your system, check out the link in the description and you can speak to me or somebody on my team today. So let's jump into it. So what we have here, we have marketing briefs and then we have posts down below. So you can see each brief, we come up with a few different posts. What I want to have happen is when I move the stage of the idea from brief slash planning into production, I want it to update all of the statuses of each post from planned now to production. Now, once it's in production, like each post can have its own status, but really I want that to be the trigger to now say, okay, these things are now in production. So all of this is going to happen in automations. And the key here is it's going to be when I click this button, when I click this button is going to be my trigger. Currently that button is programmed to update the record to be where the stage is in production. So let's jump over to my automations now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and create a new automation. This is going to be move posts to in production. I'm going to add a trigger in here and say when a record matches conditions in my ideas table, that's where my briefs are currently being held. And I'm going to say where my stage is production. That's what my button does. When I click the button, it updates it there. I then want to, eventually I'm going to get to a repeating group. So let's just try it now. The simplest way to do this is we just want to update every single post to be that. So let's, you can use your linked record field. From my understanding, you can use your linked record field here. And I could say, go find the posts. So repeat for every post and update the post record. So repeat for every post, Choose just choose the linked record field. And then you're going to say update the current item. So you, for record ID, use the little blue plus from current item, choose the ID. And then the stage status as in production. So this would work. This would be the simplest way to do it. Uh, the only gotcha that I would introduce is, well, what if I've, even though this is, this is in brief slash planning, what if one of my posts somehow it's already made it to like ready to post. Well, I don't want to bring it back. I don't want to like bring it back in its life cycle, or maybe even it's already live. I don't want to do that. So how I would do that is what I would do is I would introduce in here a find records action. And this is where you can basically add a filter. So I want to go find the post based on a condition whereby the idea has any of changes to be dynamic and use the little blue plus to say record ID. So the idea in the linked record of the post is the idea that we triggered off of here. And the status is any of the ones where I'm fine moving it. I'm fine advancing it to in production. So let's say I'm fine with moving any anything in these statuses. Actually, let's say other than trash, I'm fine with moving those into production. Now here, instead of repeat for each item in the posts, let's say, click the X here, click my find records and use that as a list instead. I do think that is the way that I want this to work. Let's come back here and see if I can get this to work. So let's say, just for fun, let's say that this one is actually already ready to post and see if I move this to production, if we can get it to work. So it is going to take a little bit. Oh, not that, not, uh, not that slow, I guess. So that's how you get it to loop through those records. Again, I just turned that automation on click, move to production. You'll see it triggered off of the stage being updated to production and it updated the status here. It looped through each of those status updates. So if you want to walk through of like this entire process here from ideas to briefs to production. I do have a video walkthrough where I'm going to show each of these processes. Uh, so if you want to know exactly how this was built, you could check out the video here and I'm going to walk through, add an idea, move it to a brief, 
plan your content, start assigning it to creators. Uh, I'm going to show that video here in the end screen. So go check out that video in the end screen right here. You can go click on it. I'm going to go through a walkthrough of this entire Airtable interface. If you thought this was interesting, I encourage you to go click on that video there in the end screen. I'll see you there.